Now, you got your contract, you've reviewed it, what are you going to do with your contract? A lot of people think that the only choice they have is to sign the contract or not sign the contract. That's certainly two choices that you have. You can sign it or not sign it. But you can also, at the same time, provide your own written content that you can attach to this contract that would have to be signed back by the contractor to agree to some terms that perhaps weren't mentioned in the contract initially. The, why would I say that? Well, because it's important that if you've got something you want to do in your home with another contractor and you expect them to perform in, under certain circumstances in a certain way, for example, and I'm, in future videos, we're going to talk about how you monitor your job using video cameras like Arlo system. I'm not a paid Arlo uh, a promoter here. That happens to be the system I use in my house. Uh, but being a building contractor in three states, I've depended on my camera system to actually monitor my job before. Okay, and let's talk a little bit about that in terms of, you know, what I'm going to recommend. Instead of you having to sit in your bedroom all day long while they remodel your master bath, is basically put up a couple of Arlo cameras or something similar to an Arlo type camera, and you're going to want to make sure that you note this on the contract. So you can write yourself up and go notify all of your workers that they're to be here by a certain time. Also, your workers are allowed to use this bathroom if you're going to give them a particular bathroom to use, okay? They're not allowed to be in certain parts of the house. You don't, you don't have to be a stickler about it, okay? But there may be something very important that you do put in there. And I do recommend people doing this. It's nothing wrong with doing it, in my opinion. If you don't have anything to hide, then it wouldn't matter. But I would video record uh, the project as it's going on. And how would you do that? Well, I would absolutely take an Arlo camera or a Bing, Blink or Bing or Ring or what the heck ever they're called, okay? Put your own camera in there. You know, it doesn't matter. The bottom line is, is that if you put an amendment on that contract to notify that contractor that any worker that comes in your home, your house is video surveillance and that particular project area will be fully video surveillance at all times, it protects you in a lot of ways. Number one, if anything turns up where it does is missing, then it may have gotten knocked over somewhere and you can actually see it on the video. If it ha happened to get knocked off and fell in somebody's pocket, you might see that on the video too, okay? All right, but more importantly, sometimes without being a snoop, we always like to hear what people have to say about us or about our jobs. Uh, a video monitoring system will actually allow you to hear the conversations going on about your project. Are they professional? Now, let me warn you right now. Contracting, and there may be people that disagree with me, but it's okay to disagree with me, but expletives are a part of contracting, okay? And if you have never hit your hand with a hammer, grabbing a nail, then you've never used an expletive, okay? Sometimes the only words that you can use that are the perfect description for what you're going to get in, I mean, we've all used the term shit show, okay? All right, now that sounds like a horrible word. Oh, it's a bad word. It's one of the, you know, the George Carlin, you know, the seven worst words in the world. I'm not going to say them here, but there may be times in my video uh, production here where I actually end up using words like that. And my editors most likely will cut them out or bleep them or do whatever they got to do. But sometimes if you took expletives out of my vocabulary, I wouldn't be nearly as colorful. Okay, so I'm a real deal. All right, I'm not here to pamper you. Okay, I'm not here to, to be like every other person you've ever heard from contracting on. I'm here to be me. Okay, and you know why people hired me? Because I was me. I was me when they met me. I was me when I did the job. And I was me when I finished. Because I like me. Okay? I like helping you, the average consumer. You need to share these videos with all of your family and loved ones, your friends, okay? People that will be rewarded for understanding what it's like to hear from a real contractor and what a real contracting job should look like, okay? If you've got family that, you, that depend on you to make, help them make decisions, or you've got your mother or your father or your uncle or anybody that, that you would consider to be maybe not that experienced at, at doing the construction industry, share this information with them. Okay, use this information yourself. You know, if you've got an Aunt Betty that lives in Oklahoma, okay, or uh, Hope's over there causing trouble. That's not Hope barking, by the way. Hope's got a much more significant bark than that. Ask him, you know, ask Aunt Betty, hey, Betty, you know, she says, well, yeah, I hired somebody to, hired somebody to do my bathroom. And, you know, and said, so, well, Betty, you mind if I get their name, their license number? 
hey, for your own peace of mind, go to my website for free. Run that, run that name and license number through there. Verify them yourself, even though one of your relatives has already hired them. Just do a little background check of your own. Maybe they didn't take the time to do that. Maybe they didn't find my website, okay? But you can, okay? If your mom's got a bad faucet in her bathroom, some damage in her kitchen, or a meteorite came through a roof, whatever ended up happening, okay? That's hope. That's hope. <laughs> <laughs> um, use our website because it's good in all 50 states. So you might live in Tennessee, but your aunt lives in California or Washington, Oregon, Florida. Hey, go there, punch it up. You can actually find a contractor there. You can vet a contractor there. You can watch our video library there. Subscribe, have your friends and relatives subscribe to the channel. That's the way this channel is going to grow. And it's gonna help numerous, numerous, numerous people because there's no product like what you've got when you go to yourconstructionexperts.com because it's free, baby. Verify, validate, file a complaint, watch the video library, click that link below, let me know your comments or your questions. Thank you, Tim McAdams, your construction experts.